Hey guys, it's Tej Shiny Diamond back in our video. And today I'm going to show you some glitches in Super Smash for this melee. There's this one glitch with Mewtwo that if you throw a red shell and side B it five times and then side B it six times with your opponent going down with him, this will happen. Yeah. It's probably because Mewtwo uses the side B as he gets dizzy. And the game doesn't know what to do, so it causes this. If you use side B again in this state, the opponent will be freed from you. But until then, have fun. On certain stages, there will be another glitch with Mewtwo. Go on one part of the stage on the ledge, Jump down, jump back up, then side B your opponent who is on the ledge, they will be brought down with you as a result. This probably happens because Mewtwo's confusion normally disables collision for the opponent when they're grabbed by the side B. For this glitch, you need a Ness, a Green Greens, and a Red Shell. Well, perhaps many of them. Once you place it down on a bunch on you, with your side B, you will then take a mess amount of damage and the sound will stop for a brief moment. This next glitch involves Bowser in the Avenger mode. Take Bowser to underneath this bridge and take care of all the enemies on it. And then, when you get on this hill here, down being just the right spot, and then Bowser will get stuck like this. It just looks like he's thinking about a new plan to catch a Princess Peach again. Mario Odyssey, anyone? Now he is stuck in this position until you reset. Mario has a interesting a B glitch that allows him to up B twice. Take him to a stage like Yoshi's Story, find a wall, up B to it, and when Mario turns around before doing his free fall animation, try performing the wall jump command. When you get the right frame, Mario will actually wall jump and that allows you to do any move after it. If I say the name entry menu is not that broken, or glitchy, you probably wouldn't believe me. Unless if I show you this. As you see in the footage, Captain Falcon is by himself, which is normally impossible to do in a versus match, where you need two or more players to actually be in the stage. Just like the Mario glitch from before, this one is, is very precise. You have to hold A and B at the same time, let go of A, then press A when the game tries to go back to the versus menu. Once you get this right, you will go to the stage select screen. Normally when you want to go to the name entry menu, you'll go to the name entry menu. However, when you perform this glitch, if you press A a little too early, you'll end up going to the name entry menu. If you press A a little too late, the B button will beat you and you'll end up going to the versus menu. You can also do this with Team Smash. Just do the same thing you did with the single player with an entire team to get one whole team into a match. I should also point out that you cannot do this in stock match, as if you were to do this in, with either of these, the game will immediately end with that player or team being the winner. Also, the winner or winners of, those, of that match, their portrait will appear dark. Even if you're turning on team attack, your team will not do anything. Well, if they're all computers, as they have no assigned target to attack because they're because you made it that way. However, you can still move around. 
and you beat the crap out of your team for not listening to you when they when you say, "Go march over there to the other side of the stage." The third equivalent to this glitch, titled the Master Hand Glitch. Do the same thing as before, but one player must be player three, and with no character. Do it with that character, and select a character for every other player. And once you get this down, you must such a stage and you are Master Hand. I should also note from Master Hand that the, the control stick does not work for him at all. Instead, he works with the D-pad. You use the A, B, L, R, and Z buttons to attack in combination with the D-pad. Now I will point out that the hand icon position is important for this glitch. Having it in the wrong spot in the game will freeze once you select the stage, like it happened in this instance. is because the position of your hand, meaning if it's back then master hand, loads no character, which gives a plane a huge problem. You know why it doesn't have a stock icon, two doesn't have like a emblem in the back. It doesn't have any of those. And those are key to keep the game running. And if those are if those are gone Without the player manually KOing the opponent, it will crash the game. Now, I will also note that winning with Master Hand in a mode that's not stamina mode nor camera mode will automatically crash the game. It crashes because Master Hand does not have a victory animation himself, in which Normally, the game needs one in order for it to move on. Without one, the game doesn't know what to do, and just locks up. For this next one, you need a fox, a falco, a ness, and a peach. The ness is not really that important, but if you want what we're about to do to be up in the extreme, choose him for your fourth character. For this one, we're doing both the Infinite Super Scope glitch and the Almighty Black Hole glitch. First off, find a Super Scope with Ness. Make sure you turn it on in irons. Or else you're screwed. Next, shoot five pairs, I mean groups, of three pellets. And then charge two large ones. And then, during the next one you charge, have someone attack you. Once you do that, check if you have the infinite scope. You would normally have one left if you didn't do this. Now if more one comes out, you definitely did it. Have both Fox Falcos shine. As in their down B. And not do what I did here. <clears throat> Come on, Fox, you don't have all day. There we go. And then shoot the pellets in between. Now, this is where it gets harder. 
you have to manually use the other controller to jump repeatedly in it with Peach. And if, there's no, and if you're the only one doing this at home, this will be a struggle. As you're not a Shokan, more like Mortal Kombat, Shiva, Goro, Montaro, etc. My Montaro's not even a Shokan, what am I thinking? Anyway, keep on dropping in it. And if you start to hear an annoying noise with this line coming in between the Fox Falcos, you're doing it right. Now all you have to do with Peach is to throw around 15 turnips in it. In the madness. Take your sweet, sweet time, Peach. The more you, more thr turnips you throw in it, my god, my English is terrible, the more the game will lack. Once you have a moderate amount, stop the Fox Falcos from shining by attacking with Peach. Or this. If you did it right, this should happen. And not a box falling on Falco. Now at this point, this is the black hole. And anyone anyone who enters it will earn 999% damage almost instantly. If you use PK fire with Ness, this should happen. This next glitch involves Mr. Game & Watch, Ness, and Roy. This is for how to make the world STRONGER intact in melee. You gotta use three PK flashes from Ness and put it into Mr. Game & Watch bucket or down B. As you do that, go up to Roy and then have the Roy counter Mr. Game & Watch's bucket with the three PK flashes in it. By the way, this all has to be done in giant melee to create the ultimate attack. Once you get the right moment to counter. Bye Felicia! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button subscribe for more. It'll be back with you for more glitches in the future.